a Resitrix pipe boot. Um, just keep in mind, we are not actually on a flat roof here. Show the picture of the roof, Luke. So our pipe is slightly at an angle. So you'll see, uh, if you're on a flat roof, the second part of this is just a straight piece that runs around here. Our piece, we've had to make it work with the angle of the roof. We'll come to that in a second. So we've cut a disc uh, about a foot wide and the hole to get over this 100 mil pipe is uh, got a diameter of about 60 mil. We then break the reinforcement all the way around um, as we would to get around any detail or corner or anything like that. You've really got to go and work on this because you want to break that reinforcement as wide as this pipe. Um, and then you think it's not going to, but that does quite comfortably fit over there. And we can just dress that in with a penny roller. And that's, uh, that's ready to be welded. Right, so that's our base done. Got a nice 20 mil easel, easily, 20 mil out there. I mean, strictly speaking, we should prime this, but as it's so short, um, I'm not going to worry. By the time I put some heat on it, it ain't going anywhere. So I'll set this up. couple of little marks on here where I want it to start and finish. It's about normally but because we're on the angle. Once we get the storm collar on, yeah. that's the top protective. Probably do well to put some gloves on, but a bit of a rush job. We just weld that in the bottom out. Come back this side, finish on that side. That's why that finishes a little bit better there, right, doesn't it? Just weld that on to there. There's a bit warm. Put that gloves. That is a waterproof uh, 
pipe boot. You can buy these pipe boots online, but they're not cheap, and I'd probably just use about a five or of resin tricks there. I mean, and that's as good as anywhere else on the roof. And then on top of that, I'll get out. Um, not sort of follow our cow. I've got to make that fit, but uh, that is a effectively a done job with a pipe boot.